I'm coming to you today with a tutorial. This is my model, Lasha Tay. And she's going to become Catwoman today. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so I'm applying Coastal Scents Oktoberfest eyeshadow as my transition color. I'm going to go ahead and blend this color in evenly to allow all of the eyeshadows to blend evenly with each other. Alright, so after that I'm going to apply another eyeshadow from Coastal Scents, which is Harvest Brown. I'm basically defining the crease area with different brown tones to just give it that depth. Alright, now I'm applying Barista from Coastal Scents and I'm just applying that inside the crease area to give definition. So it's time for the fun part and I'm going to take Elf's Cream Liner in black as my base for my black eyeshadow and I'm just going to shape out the eye area to apply my eyeshadow. <music> Now I'm taking Incognito from Coastal Scents to set my cream, um, cream eyeshadow base and I'm going to take an angle brush following that to blend everything together to get that nice perfected smoky eye. <music> Following that, I'm just going to take a blending brush to evenly distribute all of those colors and blend them all together. And I think I apply Oktoberfest to blend everything again. <music> After liquid liner and a pencil liner, I'm going to apply Butterfly Lashes number 100. 
So I'm literally beating her face with Max Match Master Foundation in 7.0 and 7.5 with a Kabuki face brush and I'm just going to blend this into her skin. So for the fun part, highlighting, I think I'm using pure beige or medium beige. Um, this is the LA Girls Pro HD Concealer. And I'm just going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out under her eyes, on the bridge of her nose, on her fo forehead, on her cupid's bow, and also on her chinny chin chin. <laughs> Following highlighting is none other than contouring. So I'm taking this dark concealer from the Max Pro Concealer Palette. It's the darkest color in there. I can't remember the number, but I'm going to apply this on her nose, on the hollows of her cheeks, and on the sides of her face. A lot of cool stuff is about to happen right now. I'm going to smoke that bottom line out with black eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow, eyeliner, and then I'm going to put some gold eyeshadow in the tear duct area. And I'm going to sweep that banana powder off her face using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Medium Deep. <music> So now for the most difficult part, you know, the smoky eye was no problem, but I'm about to do the cat's nose and just create those cat-like features on her face. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. This was something new for me, so you can just find what is best and what's most comfortable for you and what you can do. But this is something that's new to me. Um, it came out pretty good, not my best, pretty good. So next year, I hope to have a better cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just wrapping up this look and boom it's already there completed i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll talk to you guys later bye my beauty babes mwah, mwah, mwah.